Hey guys, okay, so I'm trying to challenge myself this year to make more videos and sometimes I just don't feel very creative and I find myself in a rut, but I'm feeling creative this morning. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna try to do something. Um, then I'm super proud of myself because really I accomplished washing my hair today. But that's it. And my nails, like, they're so bad. I know I need to paint them, but whatever. Let's get over that. So I went ahead and just did my foundation, uh, the lips that I did. I'm just ready for spring. That's really what's going on right now. I feel creative because I'm ready for spring. I'm tired of winter. I don't know if any of you guys can relate, but I'm a little over it. It's supposed to snow again in Seattle today. It's like almost March. I don't understand, but anyways, I'm feeling, I'm gonna do a bright, I'm gonna do, this is a pretty dramatic look uh, that I think I'm going to do. I never really plan these things out hardcore. Um, but so far for my lips, I have uh, this lip pencil from NYX uh, Cosmetics. It's the suede and the color is Soft Spoken with my favorite, and I know I've worn this combination before, but uh, my favorite lipstick from Urban Decay, which is Trance. And of course, the same freaking blush that I wear every day. I know you guys are probably tired of that, but it's Rockateur uh, from Benefit. And the highlighter that I have on is from Anastasia. And it is called Eclipse. So I'm just doing, I'm cheating my way through a tight line right now. This is not like a true way to do a tight line, but I just kind of cheat my way through it because it's fast. And it's easy and it stays on and this is my favorite black eyeliner from it cosmetics and I always line the waterline for me personally I know that this is not for everybody but I kind of have a sad kind of droopy dog eyes and so when I line on the inside then I don't look like sad droopy dog anymore Okay, so I'm going to use, I think, I think two different NYX palettes. Again, I don't plan these things out hardcore. I just kind of have a mild idea and run with it. But the Cool Neutrals palette, I'm going to use this one. And possibly I might throw in a couple shades from the Warm Neutrals palette. I've used the Warm one a lot. I haven't used the Cool one as much, but... I'm gonna do something today and for no reason like this is gonna look a bit absurd for during the day but I, I don't care okay so uh, my favorite color alkaline from urban decay I am going to very messily put this on my lid and you could probably I mean I know you could use a different color than this see how messy that is and then I'm just gonna take a flat brush. This one's from Laura Mercier. It's the cream eye color brush. And all I do is kind of pull, pull up and out with this. This is a very easy way to start doing a smoky eye. A very easy uh, pretty way and I'm I'm actually kind of using it more as a as a base For what I'm gonna put on top even though I love this color, and I think it's pretty I just feel like doing something really different today Something I haven't done before and I'm going to use ah, This super bright purple Color because I don't think I've ever used this before Maybe I have once or twice, but not how I'm using it today. So I'm popping that right on top. And by putting the other color first, makes it a little bit more subdued, just a little bit. It's not as crazy bright. This is gonna look better. 
Don't worry, you gotta go through the phase of like it looking like crap before it gets better. Okay, uh, so just, maybe I'll just stick with the cool neutrals, we'll see. When you do the crease, you want things with a smoky eye to gradually go from dark and build its way to light. So I'm just putting a transition color that's it's just this neutral, just real neutral. Uh, and you know, I love my Wayne Goss brushes, so. I think I'm gonna take this sort of medium-ish, mauve color. I like mixing this one and this one together a lot for my transition. I do it very lightly, but this one I'm gonna kind of do it a little bit heavier and put it right in my crease. So actually right in the crease, and let's see if that's dark enough. Not really. So I'm gonna mix this darker one with the lighter one. And I literally, I just, if you see, I just kind of tap back and forth between them, knock off the excess, and just go in here a little bit more. And all I'm trying to do is gradually make this color. Maybe I mix the bright purple and that dark one. There we go, that's what I wanna see. Hi, everybody talks about smoky eyes being hard and to me it's the easiest thing to do. Um, I think people are just scared of it because it's dark, but dark is easy. It's when you're trying to do things really soft. It's kind of like with dance. I'm liking a lot of, liking a lot of things to dance these days, but with dance, I mean, yes, it takes a skill to dance fast, but it takes a lot of skill to dance slowly too. Intention. Again, that same color. And I just kind of smoothed out a little bit at first before I grabbed this dark purple guy. crazy faces. Oy. You guys should see I'm always holding <laughs> multiple colors and brushes and everything in one hand. Not a lot of fallout. Go back with the bigger, fluffier one and do little circles, windshield wiper, circles. And I'm not one of those that starts with a light color all over, maybe because uh, I just put a foundation on. And so I could go up right under the brow bone, but I don't necessarily need to. Can't help myself. I gotta put boop, 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 teeny bit of shimmer in the corner because I love that look. Love it. Well, that really makes a big difference, right? <laughs> I feel like I got a cat hair on my lip. You gotta love that. But anyways, look how freaking pretty that is. And I love that I said that this was a spring look, but it didn't look very springy at all. I thought this bright purple would be a lot brighter. And maybe it is on its own. There, I popped just the bright purple all by itself, kind of on this outer corner. Yep, that's a lot brighter. What if I kind of go back and pack Take this small brush and kind of pack on that bright purple. Oh, yes. 
See guys, that's why it's fun to uh, just experiment. Experiment? Experiment. And kind of layer. I know that people are like, oh, but I don't have the time to do that. I just need to pop it on. And that's fine too. Only do something like this if you really have the time to sit there and spend to play around to get the sort of look that you want. So you might not be able to see in this uh, with this, but or the lighting, but it's pretty bright. It's a pretty bright purple. Oh, I freaking love it though. I love doing color like this. Um, yeah, so all I ended up doing was using just the Cool Neutrals palette. I found this palette uh, in one of the NYX stores in Dallas. I was looking for the warm one to give to a friend of mine, and then I was like, oh, they have a cool. I didn't know they had a cool. So, this palette costs 15 bucks, and look how pretty that is. So, have fun experimenting, doing fun things like this. Uh, for time purposes, so you're not bored watching me do the other eye, I'm just gonna stop this video as I keep putting more and more on. <laughs> you gotta love this about me. All the things, more stuff. I had a client yesterday who's like, Lindy, you still fill in your eyebrows too? And I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm from Texas. More is more, not less is more. So, super pretty look and I think uh, one of the points I always try to make is just you got to blend people you got to blend you shouldn't see where one star color starts and another one stops if you're going for a really pretty classic smoky eye it should just all blend uh, like this blend and if you happen to see if there's any areas where you're like oh I kind of see pack on a little bit more and then do a little more blending there's nothing wrong with that at all but I'm gonna rock a super smoky eye today and possibly scare anybody that walks by me. I don't care. I just don't care. All right, I hope you guys had fun playing around. I hope I inspire you guys to try some new things because it's fun. You gotta try new stuff every once in a while. And have a great day. Bye guys.